Howdy all, I'm Adam the Renaissance Nerd and I hate modern Disney. Modern Disney is not even remotely the family friendly brand that I grew up with that holds a special place in my heart that they can't take away from me and they shouldn't take it away from you either. Classic Disney, Renaissance Disney should be held close to your heart. Don't let them destroy that for you. But modern Disney is a monster. It is an agenda-driven monster that cares nothing about entertainment and only wants to force down its ideological, both political and cultural ideals upon you and your kids. They are doing a lot of this to indoctrinate your children with the not-so-secret agenda and all the other commie Marxist bullshit that's wrapped up in it. Disney itself now is in utter freefall. They're failing on all fronts. I've covered that multiple times. Go check out my playlist, The Coming Collapse of Disney. I have been chronicling this for, I think, almost a year now. I've been on it. Check it out. I haven't been wrong yet, and I'm not wrong now. Disney live action has been a failure. I don't know, it's made billions of dollars. But has it had a lasting impact? All the live action remakes, have they had an impact? Do they matter today? Do people talk about them outside of mocking them? Answer, no. One of them is great. Cinderella, Kenneth Branagh film. Wonderful cast, respect to the original story, respect to the original Disney animated version. All there, beautifully done with care, love, and respect. After that, either pale imitations like Beauty and the Beast or utter disgusting things like Lion King, and we use live action loosely when we mention Lion King, or Aladdin, and now the latest one, The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid, complete and total failure. Blu-ray and digital sales start in 10 days on July 25th, and that's it. Movie run over did not break 600 million dollars worldwide needed 800 to 900 million plus in order to get to the break even zone didn't happen little mermaid lost money which is why people are probably now not afraid to start really shitting on disney live action which might explain the release of today's story the leaks concerning the latest next one to come out Snow White and the Seven Magical Up Your Butt Creatures. <laughs> Thanks, Peter Dinklage, for that one. <sighs> now, there are other ones coming out, but with the strike happening, it's going to be a long time before we get those even to mock. But we will be able to mock Snow White and the Seven Magical in your ears because we have leaks today. But now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I want these to be true. What we're going to look at, if you, you probably already see them in other streams videos, and I hope that you're going to enjoy my take here, but I question the legitimacy of this because it just looks so bad. What are we talking about? Came out earlier today before I woke up. Snow White and the Seven Politically Correct Companions, first pictures of new live-action remake of Disney classic shows Princess Walking with diverse band of merry men and women after Rao over using dwarf actors again thank you peter dinklage for that one this is daily mail daily mail has broken stuff as i understand it in the past but we're going to look at these pictures and there's a very large problem here it looks so bad i can't accept it as real i don't want to i i i'm very carefully going out on the limb of saying this is a legitimate these are legitimate uh production leaks because let's look at them now together. Here they are. Make sure my camera's not covering it. Okay. There is your merry band of uh, seven magical creatures. Now, we've got one actual dwarf actor. Now, we've got... And then we've got... I don't know what these people are. Whether this is a reject from Pirates of the Caribbean. We've got a whammons there. We've got a hippie with a hoodie on in the background. And I... I don't know. I do not know. Now, this article at one point will we'll call into question, is this pre-CGI? Are these people going to be CGI'd? If they are, where are the CGI dots? I don't see the CGI dots on any of these people here. So I don't know. So you look at this costuming. And we're, I, I really, I'll point out the hippie dude in the back when we get a better angle. This can't be real. If it is, my God. So we go down, and here, here's the other question mark. That's not Rachel Zegler. 
I know that little hate monster. I've covered her many times on this channel. The little hate beast that is Rachel Zegler is not that girl. This girl's actually a little cuter than Rachel Zegler because Rachel Zegler ain't hot. Definitely not as hot as Gal Gadot, who's the evil queen in this movie. <laughs> That's not her. And this right now, let's go right down here. See this dude right here? Let's get a closer look at him. That's supposed to be Andrew Burnup, who's supposed to play Jonathan. Who, because uh, since they're not, he's just Jonathan. There's no more Prince Charming. There's just Jonathan. That's not the same dude. Here is a picture side by side of Andrew Burnup and Rachel Zegler. You can look at them, give it a nice big soak it in look. Rachel Zegler and her near unibrow. Get it, get it all in there. And this Andrew Burnup dude who I've never heard of. And then we go back. Here's this dude. And here is this chick again. That's not them. Now, is there, there's a very easy explanation. These are extra shots using stunt doubles and stand-ins where you're not going to get a clear look at their face because it's from far away. But still, I, that's not them. And Daily Mail is wrong for saying that's them. Now, let's get a really good look at the magical creatures. Again, here's the hippie dude. Look at the hippie dude. What the hell? He's wearing a hoodie. He's wearing a weird checkered plaid sweater under a jacket, and this doesn't look real. And I question its legitimacy because it looks so bad. It looks like something that rolled out of a college film. That's what this looks like. Again, that's not Rachel Zegler, not Andrew Burnup, and there, there. Oh, that's good right there. Look, that's not the same dude we just looked at. That's not, unless he got some weird extra face fat going on, eyes are wrong, nose is wrong, that's not him. That's got to, if it's real, it's a stand-in for a long-distance shot. Now, we've got some production shots here. Here's the Cure Cruise watching scene. Now, this is, might be the scene we're going to get because it's zoomed out and you can't really tell. More more production shots, people chilling. It, it just, I, I can't buy it. Right now, I cannot buy this. And that's where I'm going to stand on this. If it's real, and I really kind of do hope it's real. I really do, because it's going to make this so good to shit on later. This is, uh, once we see the budget of this movie, wow. This is Disney. Multi-billion dollar company. Maybe even trillion dollar company. I don't know anymore. But this is this is what they've done. This is what they're giving you from a production value standpoint. If it's not real, then it's not real. And, and, and I'm wasting my time and this video turns out to be a waste of time. But we have to document this. We have to point this out that this is what Disney represents right now. The lowest quality. The lowest effort. All in the sake as I said at the start of the video, of its agenda and diversity mission. Why must there be a female magical creature dwarf? Why, are, why do they have to be black? Why do we need him to have an afro? Oh, we got one little dude. He's the lucky one. He got one guy. Why, do we, why is he dressed like a pirate? Why do we have a bearded hippie in a hoodie? Why is he in a hoodie? It got to represent stinky hippies? <laughs> this is laughable. And in the end, if it's if this real, this is this is Disney. This is Disney now. This is what they represent. The lowest quality, the lowest effort, all to try and push agenda on you, all for the sake of agenda. Thank you, Bob Iger. Thank you, everybody involved in this, for reminding me why I have to shit on you every day. Because you deserve it. Because you've ruined what was once one of the greatest entertainment companies in Hollywood and Western entertainment. All right, I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. If you are new here, I invite you to check out the channel. Subscribe. Hope to earn your trust and support using facts and logic. Because facts and logic do not care about whiny standing as you fees. Hit that notification button. Share my videos if you like what I'm preaching. And by all means... Leave a comment. What do you think about this? Is this real? Is this fake? How do you feel about it? Are you ready to dump on it more? I care what you guys think as real passionate fans. I don't care what the stands and the SJWs have to say because 201, they're all cowards behind keyboards. And somebody will get triggered and it will make me smile. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy.
Thanks for watching, everybody. If you'd like to reach out to me, please email me at therandnerd at gmail.com for all channel business purposes. I am on Twitter now, mostly for promotion and sharing of videos. Maybe a little shit stirring here and there. Who knows? At the Ren Nerd. You can also find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at Roas, and you can see me on Rumble and Odyssey under the Renaissance Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.